Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell Inspiron 15 3000 series laptop. This one is a Dell Inspiron 15 3525. Their regulatory model is a P112F006. That information can be found inside the BIOS or on the bottom of the laptop on the sticker or in the, on the box. And in this video I'm going to take you on a step by step how to open it up and how you can replace or remove the battery on your laptop. And most of the questions that I get is like, can I use the laptop without the battery? Is it safe? Or do I have to have a battery? And the reason for the answer for those are, yes, you can use the laptop without the battery connected and it's going to last you even longer, the battery. Even the charger is going to last you longer because the battery is not going to pull any current, any ampere from the charger. So it's going to have a less stress on the charger and on the motherboard components power regulators and many other stuff and also even the motherboard because it's not going to have that extra voltage going through it for the battery it's going to last you longer but if your battery is not holding up any more charge or it's just discharging really quickly you might want to replace yours by replacing the battery you're not going to modify any configuration or anything like that and i'll give you a, a nice tip on how to keep your battery at the good performance once in a while and the initial uh, use and that's very important all right first thing first you want to power off the laptop you want to flip it upside down the only tool that we're going to be using is a good screwdriver set i'll recommend you guys the ifix screwdriver set i purchased this by myself it's not a sponsorship and i generally like these ones because they are really hard and steel and they last you many years i've been using them for a while and we're going to be using a phillips number one if you get the pro set they're a little expensive they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, just get the basic set, just like me. And for the opening tools, I will use the guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and columns. All right, with these two on hand, we're going to get started. On the bottom of the laptop, you're going to see a whole bunch of screws. We're going to remove all these screws except these two back corners. We're not going to let remove these ones. We're not going to touch them. And I'll explain in a second why. All right, so it's start from the back mid side and the three in the front remove them all the screws are the same size and height so don't worry about mismatching them keep them in one pile also if you guys like my videos if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe i'll greatly appreciate it it helps and motivates me to make more videos take requests and answer your questions in the comment area now that we remove the screws regarding these screws the reason we left them for the last is because these screws, they have something called a C-lock. A C-lock is a, a metal bracket C-shape on the other side of the screw that will prevent the screw coming out entirely. And it will help you to pull this cover away from the palm rest. So as soon as I start rotating this one, you're going to see a gap opening right there. That gap. And you're going to keep rotating until you feel like the screw is flimsy or your hands are getting numb. And that's when you want to stop. Right, same thing in this side. Rotate. Until you just feel like you're falling asleep and let go. Now that we have these two sides open, you want to grab the opening tool and you want to stick it on the bottom here, about two or three millimeters. You want to see the whole thing inside. And then you just want to twist it upward and you want to hear those nice click sounds. So that the clips are getting loose, that's what you want to hear. You want to do that in the front. This one has a little crack on the case. You want to just open it up like this and you want to hear those click sounds. All right, go to the corner on this side. So as long as you do the side, the front and the other side, both sides, you don't need to do the back end. Just grab it from the corners and just work it around and it will come out. And right away, we can see the battery right in here. And this is a 41 watt hour battery. I don't know why they put this flex cable over the battery. This flex cable should be under the battery. So you might have it under, so let's see. Remove this tape, all right? To remove the battery first, you want to disconnect it. To disconnect it, you want to pull this jack backward, hold it from the side of the white plastic jack and pull it towards the battery like that. Once it's disconnected, you can untangle it from here for a second. Now we need to disconnect this cable. If your cable is running over, you won't want to disconnect it. If yours is under the battery, just don't touch it. Mine is over, so I will lift up this Hinge upward 90 degree 
then I will pull this cable in 45 degree out, just like that. Okay, and I'll bring it this way and just tape it right there. All right now, to remove the battery, you need to remove one screw, two, three screws. So go ahead and remove these three screws. All right, now that you remove the screws, you can grab the battery, bring it up, and slide it this way, and it will release itself. This is a 41 watt hour battery. The model for the battery is a G91J0, 11.25 volt. If you want to order it from Dell directly, they're going to ask you for this part number, which is a 0PG8YJ. So I'll leave the link for this battery. If you want to purchase yours, check the link in the video description. When you get the new battery, it's not going to come with this cable. You want to re remove this cable by untangling it from here. And then you want to remove it from here. This one has a little clip on it. Let me get my tweezers so I can show you. That this clip has to go slide it backward. Slide it gently. Backward like that. And you should only slide back, you don't have to remove it completely. If it comes up, just slide it back in. When you slide it back with your fingernails in a minute, just pull it backward. And then you want to lift up this connector. This connector is just like that from the other side. If it's focusing it or not. So, there. So, what you want to do, you want to put it on top. In a new battery, right, it's slide it right in there, set it flat, and slide back this jack right over. So with your finger, pull it back and back and just lift it, put it back on, slide it in 45 degree angle inside the connector. Make sure it's sitting nice and flush, and lock it down there. And now you want to just tangle back in the cable. And there we go. And bring it down. Align the screw holes. Make sure the screw holes are matching. You can go ahead for once for all and put this one first. This is connected. It goes in in 45 degree angle. Uh, big fingers. If I put it, you guys can't see it. There. You have to go all the way in in 45 degree angle, and then you just want to lock it down. You don't want to put the tape if you want. If you don't, don't put it. Doesn't matter. Now, to grab the connector, you want to bring it straight in the front of the jack. Make sure it's straight in front. And then you want to pinch it together, just like that. Pretty much, I'm just pinching it together. All right, once the battery is in here, all you want to do, pretty much, you are done. Grab the bottom cover. Put it, oh, did I forgot to put the screws for it? Yes, I did. So put the screws for the battery. If you don't put it, it's just going to make a few sounds in there, just move around, uh, I think. There's not enough clearance for it to move anyway. So put the three screws, and I have no idea why they don't have a screw in here. I don't know if it's broken or what, but I don't see anything. But once you have the screws on it, just grab the top cover, bottom cover, put it on top. Press the bottom corners, the bottom mid, side, don't press on the back. You just want to screw it down and it's going to pull the cover to itself. And do the left side and the right. And now once you're screwed in, push the back mid. You want to hear those click sounds. The side, make sure you hear those click sounds. And the last thing is to put the bottom screws right on the case. And now regarding the new battery that you placed, it is very, very important that you do not power on the laptop right away if you have installed a fresh, newly new battery. You want to plug in the charger and you want to leave it charging for at least four to five hours without the laptop being turned on. After four to five hours, you want to power on the laptop without the charger and you want to bring down the brightness of the screen down to 50, 40 percent and watch some YouTube channels, some videos and some movies. Don't do any heavy load and let it drain down to 30, 20%. After that, you want to power it off again, leave it charging for another four to five hours while it's off. And after that, you can just turn it on and use it as you wish. 
that in each of charge and discharge, it is very important for the new batteries. And you should do that uh, exercise once every couple of months is healthy for the battery. Again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out. If you have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a video comment. And I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. And this is how you remove and replace your battery for your Dell Inspiron 15 3525.